Hey guys, Pedguin here, and today we're looking at the Moor's Frozen Terraria Texture Pack. It's created by the Moor, and all the downloads and stuff are down in the description below, along with a thread so you can give some feedback, suggestions, and all that good stuff. Okay, this is currently version 1.9. I did a video on this quite a while ago, back when it was 0.8, and I'm actually going to be uploading this in 1080p so you can see the quality exactly how I see it. So that's a pretty good feature that I'm going to be doing now on all Texture Packs. So... This text pack is seriously snow joke, so let's get right in there and I'll show you everything. Okay guys, here we are in the game and as you can see, I look like a beautiful Eskimo. So I'm just going to go through the armors with you for a short second. Okay, so the iron armor has changed, it's just a slightly lighter version. And the molten armor, it pretty much just has the lava into ice, so that's pretty simple. But this one here, the jungle armor, looks really nice. I mean, look at that. That looks awesome. Wow. <laughs> Looks like something from Lord of the Rings. But we're going to just shove this on. We're actually going to put that in our social because that's actually the ninja stuff. I'm going to shove that there. Looks good. And then we are going to go look for... Wait, I actually have some weapons to show you. So here, this pretty much just made any molds and stuff icy. So as you can see there, it looks pretty nice. And same for the Molten Fury and stuff. And then there's the animation for the, the fire. Looks really nice. Orb of Light. Just just in case. And the Ivy Whip is actually really nice. Look. How good's that? Because I, I don't really like the Ivy Whip as it is. But wh when people change it into stuff like this, it looks really nice, I think. So that brings a, a really nice feature to the text pack. Snowballs as shurikens, because why not? I think they're one of my favorite parts of the, these text packs. Wow. That looks nice. So we've got the, the guns here as well. Star Cannon, Phoenix Blaster... Flamerang, Mushrooms, which I just picked up. The Muramasa looks really nice as well. Dirt Rod, all sorts. I'm actually going to swap that out. Why can I not? There we go. Oh yeah. Just in case. Because I think it's changed the bosses as well. So we're going to take a look at them sooner or later. So let's have a let's keep going left and then we'll see what we can find. And as you can see here as well. Whoa. Snowman Field much. Wow. As you can see, it's changed the copper as well, look, as you can see. Really nice. But yeah, he's changed so many snowmen. Obviously, the snowmen have replaced sunflowers, which look really nice. It really does. So, he's changed some of the lanterns and stuff, and some of the household items. He's pretty much ch changed almost all the tiles. I'll show you... I'll go into more of the building stuff later, but at the moment, I'm just going to go look at the sort of biomes that we can have a look at. So I'm just going to head to the left now. And hopefully find desert or jungle or something along those lines. Here we are at the desert. Got some crazy ass vulture. And yeah, so the, the desert doesn't really change much. But can you really do that in a snowy texture pack? I think all the biomes are pretty much snow based. It's just like he's changed like key features for all of them. So it's kind of nice to have a look at them. Okay guys, here we are at the dungeon, and as you can see, the bricks look really nice, and so do the, actually we can have a nice little look at the doors as well there, and the wood, it's just kind of a darker version. So as you can see, the bricks look really nice, they have like a kind of pinkish tint to them, I think with the other, because obviously all the dungeons come in different like colours, so I'm assuming this is the pink dungeon, and then the will have like a green tint for the green dungeon, etc. So I'm going to make it night and we're going to summon Skeletron and I'm going to see what he looks like, okay? Okay, there we go. It's night time, so let's summon Skeletron and hope he's been changed. Oh my god, he's been changed. It looks like that freaking jungle armor add-on, but a more badass version. Crazy. So we're just going to own this guy and then when we get back, I will show you the Eye of Cthulhu while it's night time. Well, then we'll head off to Corruption and then we'll own the Eater of Worlds. Okay, that sound okay? Good. Okay guys, we are back, and I just owned the Skeletron, so we are going to summon... Wow! Fallen Star. Fallen Stars are snowflakes, it turns out. Very nice. So, we're going to summon the suspicious looking eye, and then... Well, Eye of Cthulhu. <laughs> Derp. And then, after we've done that, we shall head off to Corruption. Oh my goodness! Wow. So we're going to find out what this guy looks like on his second form. So let's own him quickly. What do you look like? Come on. Die, 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 die. I'm using my Molten Fury right now. 
Oh wow, he's shooting eye. Wow, look at this. So, oh, so the little eyes are actually snowflakes that he's shooting as well. Spikes, no spikes. <laughs> oh, come on, change you. There we go. Let's see what he changes into. Oh, a darker version. It looks more evil, I'll give it that. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to teleport home now, and then we're going to find the corruption. Hopefully it won't follow us. <laughs> another another fallen star. Nice. I really like how they're snowflakes. It makes sense as well, how they are. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. I'm just going to continue. Okay, guys, here we are at the jungle. And as you can see, it looks really nice. I mean, the colors on this jungle are really nice. And the, the water actually makes it look really nice as well. So, the really nice freaking tiles is put here and such. So, wow. Wow, what is a harpy doing here? Seriously. It's not really textured many of the mobs, but you don't really need to. They look fine as they are. But as for tiles and such, he has retextured most of them. If not all of them. So, as I remember, there should be corruption just past this jungle. Okay, there we go. So this is corruption. Instead of the little purple floor, it's got a little bit of... It looks like a bit of ice, right? If not. Hmm. But it looks nice. Honestly, it does. So we're just going to summon the Eater of Worlds. Because why not? We want to see what he looks like. Whoa! Wow. That looks crazy. Let's kill him. <laughs> Die. We're going to actually take a look down one of these and have a look at stuff. Wow, that's the demonite right there. That looks really nice. Oh, God. There's the demon altar. There's the demon orb. It's just big chunks of uh, ice by the looks of things. Wow, that's pretty good. So what was over here? Mm. Some gold up there. So yeah, look, this is, the corruption biome looks really nice, I think, especially with this boss. So yeah, that's it. We're going to go to Hellworld now. So let's go, go, go. Hey guys, we are back. And as you can see, wow, look at the Mushroom Kingdom. Wow, that looks so good. Wow. I mean, it's just so bright and happy. <laughs> wow. As you can see by the background as well, it looks really nice. So that's that. So let's carry on to Hellworld, shall we? Okay, as you can see, we are here in Hellworld. And as you can see, the background looks really nice. And so does the water. Or the lava. And it's just like, it will kill you if you go in because it's just so cold. <laughs> if you know what I mean. And as you can see, the bricks look really nice as well. Wow, this this is really nice. I mean, this is one of the, the best things about this texture pack. Because Hell is completely retextured and it looks, looks amazing. So that's Hell World. I think I've got one more thing to show you guys. So I'm just going to show you that. And I think we'll, we'll wrap it up. Okay. So this is what I wanted to show you. But unfortunately there was no like download link. So I couldn't actually download and show you in game. So here's just a photo of it. And yeah. So as you can see. The amount of amazing stuff you could probably create. With this text pack is unbelievable. So yeah, that's the text pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great day. So thank you very much. Bye.